Ever since December 2022, Cyrax has become a household name for his rages more than anything else. But this isn't about his rages or jokes. Besides his rages, Cyrax is also known for his depraved and unjustifiable actions, from choking his grandmother when she had her back turned on him, messaging children, and of course, the sexual assault of Blind Billy. Cyrax has no issues messaging children as an adult and has done it multiple times. Thankfully, however, most of the time as of late, it has been an adult playing the part of the minor, with the most well-known example being Kate from Mastral Mafia, where she also caught Cyrax admitting to doing it multiple times. So he was convinced that it was a kid? No, the, the, yeah. So what I did was I actually borrowed some pictures from uh, one of those predator poacher discords, right, where they do have the uh, decoy pictures. So, I mean, the, the girl looks quite, I don't know if you should actually put her picture up <laughs> online, but yeah. she looks quite young. She's very, she's very clearly about, about 14 or 15 years old. And um, he asked for pictures. She sent, the, I sent them um, and then had a phone call. Obviously, I feel like I sound like an old ass woman. So I had my friend speak to him and he asked her specifically and we do have a recording of this which we can turn over to the police cyrax if you want to fuck around and lie he said when you graduate she said well three years from now i'm a freshman and he said oh damn and then goes on to talk about how his high school experience was um he then hung up he started texting back he sent a jerk off video and immediately said like, don't show anyone this. And then I reiterated, I'm only 14. I turned 15 in a few months. And he proceeded to continue to send dick pics and ask me for pictures, which came off Google, you know, so they're not actual child pictures, but he didn't know that. That right. is something that is inherently dangerous. And, I, and the right. fact that when I ask him pointedly, how many times have you done this? And he answers with that is irrelevant indicates to me that this probably happens more than once. Mm. That's what a problem. You, what you say, that is buddy? not something that I would defend. Oh, I, no, sorry, Rex, before you talk, you're going to listen to one to just, you're not, you're not even going to do it. Um, sorry, we asked you before how many times this has happened. You said that's irrelevant. Can when you, was the last time that you sent your dick to a child? I'm just curious. Like how, how long has it been? Literally whenever you tricked me, literally. But no, about, you just went through two other instances after that that was that was actually that was those were actually beforehand those were beforehand incidences well the the chloe thing i sent those to her beforehand like days before and then today she okay, had so, that was so like people, days so before the time, right okay so the timeline is that you sent your picture hold on, hold on. before Jesus. i so what you're saying yes. is when I posed as a 14 year old girl, that was the last time that you sent your dick to a child, but there were two times before that. Yeah. Kate from Mastro Mafia exposed Cyrax for sending PP pics all the way back in 2021. And as you just saw, Cyrax admitted to doing it before Kate did what could have possibly been real children. Well, in early 2024, Cyrax repeated his actions, this time with Wings 007. On January 13th, 2024, Wings007 went onto a Tibbs TV stream that Cyrax was moderating on under the username Ashley with a decoy profile picture. After a little while, Cyrax would say this. Do you have Instagram, Ashley? I do, actually. Cyrax want me to send mine or you want to send yours? What's your IG, Ashley? Chargetta6. Well, Cyrax would follow the decoy within two minutes. After talking about music for a short period of time, here, Cyrax would then ask about the decoy's age. By the way, how old are you, just wondering? I'm afraid to say. Why? I'm old enough to know better, young enough to do it again. Wink. Don't worry, I don't judge. I don't know, I'm a little worried you'll get mad and stop talking to me. And this is the first time I've gotten to talk to you. Promise you won't block me? I promise. Okay, I'm 15, but I turn 16 at the end of the month. Secrets out? Now tell me how old you are? 33. How long you been a fan for? I used to watch you a lot on one of your other channels. It was called DK Customs. And ever since it's been sort of off and on whenever I can find you again, haha. At this point, Cyrax thought that he was talking to a minor, and rather than stop the conversation, not only did he keep it going, but he said that he would be willing to speak to her the next day. Ah, okay, cool. Thanks for keeping your promise. 
That actually means so much you have no idea. Like, I was starting to freak out. You were going to block me. Ugh, I'm so relieved. I'm about to go to bed soon, though. You down to talk tomorrow, maybe? Yeah. Awesome, I'll send you a good night selfie. Okay. Good night. Don't think that Cyrax was just responding to fans either, because here he can be found initiating conversations with the decoy. Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good. Just woke up not too long ago. I passed out early last night, lol. What about you? How are you? Cyrax wouldn't respond to that message until 2 a.m. when he sent this voice message with music playing in the background. Hey, what's up? How are you? Sorry I didn't respond yesterday. Like, I was completely out of it yesterday and I slept a lot, but uh, how are you? What's up? After getting no response, Cyrax would then follow that message up nearly two hours later at 3.53 in the morning saying, How are you? Almost four hours later, the decoy sent these messages as well as this selfie. Hey, sorry for the late reply. I was asleep when you messaged me. And don't apologize. It's okay, I understand. I'm just waking up though. What about you? What you up to? After exchanging photos with each other, Cyrax would send a few messages asking about the decoy's age again. And I can tell by the pics that you're not underage. How old are you really? Be honest. I'm not mad at all. Oh, swear. I just want to know the truth. I can understand if you lied to hide from the trolls. And honestly, I don't blame you for doing so. But I do want the honest truth. How old you really? I'm not mad. I promise. Cyrax would then get the second confirmation that the person that he was talking to was in fact 15. Trust me, I wouldn't lie to you. I actually feel some sort of feeling, but I don't know how to describe it. I wouldn't lie to you, though, I promise. I turn 16 at the end of this month. I'll be honest about one thing, though. I do wear makeup, and people say it makes me look older, but I just like makeup. It's soothing. I hope it's not a big deal. The decoy would then send these two photos to Cyrax. After receiving these messages, Cyrax started talking about his relationship status to the decoy, saying how he wished there were people like her his age. You know what's funny is the whole reason why I'm still single, even at my age of 33, is because everybody loves to treat me like crap, and a lot of people believe the fucking lies that are told. And these trolls that I deal with, every time I go with somebody, they drive them off. Which is why I've been single for like almost the last two, three years now. And it fucking sucks. And to be honest, like, there needs to be more people like you out there around my age, you know? Like, it sucks that there's not people my age out there that are more like you that actually give a shit, you know? Thank you so much. And anytime, trust me, you can come to me if anything ever is bothering you, no matter what. I'm gonna say, I definitely appreciate that, because the shit I've been through over the last 10 years is fucking nuts. And the fact that I got labeled as something that I'm not is completely bullshit. And, you know, like I said, the reason why I've been single all these years is because of these damn trolls. Matter of fact, the chick that was interested in me last night literally ended up blocking me for no fucking reason. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, you were interested in me two minutes ago, now all of a sudden you're blocking me? Like, what the fuck? To be honest, I didn't know you were being attacked like that so much. That's so sad. Well, if I can ever help, just let me know. I'll always be here. And I'm so sorry about what that girl did. I would never do anything like that. That's so heartless. By the way, your voice is so soothing, Lowell. You should make me ASMR videos so I can sleep at night. I am always up. Maybe one night you can call me and we can get to know each other that way instead of having to tow and stuff on Instagram. I don't have my phone on right now because we couldn't afford to get it turned on, but I do have Facebook. So I mean, if you want to, I can add you on Facebook. I had a Facebook a few years ago, but I deleted it because of drama at school. I can make one, though, or... There's a thingy on here we can use. But listen, I know what it's like. I've only had one boyfriend, and he broke up with me six months ago almost. It broke my heart, and I was pretty depressed. I'm okay now, though. And you make it better, too. Cyrax, the one that wanted to move the conversation to Facebook, then tried to save face and said that he uses the Instagram call feature all the time. Thanks. I definitely appreciate that. I really do. 
And yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. You're talking about the video call thing or phone call thing on here on Instagram. I know exactly what you're talking about. I use it all the time. Yeah, maybe one night we can use that. That's right. A couple of years ago, these people that have attacked me, like you saw, they attacked me so bad a few years ago that two times in a row I actually attempted to take my own life. That's how bad it got. Thankfully, I'm not in that position. That's so horrible. I can't believe there are people out there who have it inside of them to act like that towards others. Do you believe in karma? Anytime I deal with things like that, I just think to myself, karma will get them, lol. Well, I did find out that these people are actually terrorists, pedophiles, pedophile supporters, and some of them are even white supremacist Nazis. And they go around doing this shit to people. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take and send you a link to a music video that I think that you should definitely share with your school. Like, because this music video really, really touches on what being bullied does to people. And it's actually by one of my favorite rock bands. And I think you might actually enjoy it. Yes, send it to me. I would love to. The decoy said yes, and bizarrely, rather than just send the link on Instagram, Cyrax asked for the decoy's email in order to get another piece of contact info. What's your email? One sec, I have to copy paste it, lol. AshleyLynnSteel01 at gmail.com. Sorry, it's long. The email had nothing but a single link to an anti-suicide song by Five Finger Death Punch. Then, they would have this conversation. Okay, about to check it out. I love it. I just saved it in my playlist. Can I ask you two questions, please? Yeah, what's up? I remember you used to do little performances and concerts on your streams. Do you still do those? Yeah. Thank God, I'm so excited. Okay, my second question. What would a girl have to do to get you to sing that song for me? Even if it's just a little bit? Please. Actually, the song television. I got you, no worries. I would die. I'll check that song out. The song is beautiful. I would love you if you sang it to me. Wait, do you know the song Valentine's Day by Linkin Park? Yeah, I love that song. That would be perfect then. Would you let me know when you're streaming so I could be there when you sing it for me, please? I'll reward you somehow. Yeah, I'll actually do a recorded video right now. Yay! After sending the decoy a link to Cyrax's YouTube channel, Cyrax would actually do the song now privatized on his own channel, however, thankfully, archived by Cyrax archiver N-Word Boy. What is up, YouTube? There's his name. What's up, YouTube? Um, this song cover I'm about to do is actually for a very good friend of mine, named Ashley, who has been through a lot, and is actually in a much better place now, but, uh, Actually, this is for you and all your friends, so hopefully you enjoy this. If you do, you already know what to do. And this is Do Not Disturb. Following this, the decoy would send Cyrex this photo saying, Rate me 1 to 10 in both the photo and in the messages before having this conversation where Cyrex would rate what he thought was a 15 year old a 10. Rate me 1 to 10. 10. Don't lie to me, you can be honest. Seriously, lol. I am being honest. Yeah, right. No boys ever think I'm pretty. Well, they're stupid AF then if they can't see the kind hearted person you are. I mean, yeah, people know I'm nice and stuff, sure, but I just want to feel pretty, beautiful, like other girls you know. Yeah, and you are in your own way. Well, thanks. It's true. That means a lot coming from you, cutie. What you doing? About to get in the shower, I don't have much planned today. So I'm gonna take a hot shower and watch videos, hey? Hey. Nice. What about you? What you doing? Watching videos. Wanna see the new dress I got? Yeah. I posted a new picture in it. Nice. Thank you. Then, out of nowhere, Cyrax said that if the decoy sees Adriana, the woman that was pretending to be Cyrax's girlfriend over the past couple of days, not to trust her, Cyrax would also leave this voice message. 
reason I still don't trust her is because she acted like she wanted to deal me and then turned out to fucking backstab me and yeah. She's not a good person. When I confronted her, she sat there and laughed at me and started mocking me and shit. So if you ever see her on Facebook, don't fucking trust her. Later, when the decoy was in Cyrax's chat, Cyrax lit up. up with that are my childhood best friends that are literally like family to me. Yo, Ashley, what up? Yo, Ashley, um, how you doing? Well, after that, the decoy would message Cyrax after he sent a video of Pokemon shoes, saying, Hey, I gotta ask a question. After you brought up that girl earlier, I kinda wanted to ask, but I don't know if it's too soon, lol. Fire away, what's up? So are you single now since you and that other girl aren't talking anymore? Just wondering. Yup, it sucks, but the way I see it, I dodged a bullet with her ass. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, lol, so what you doing? Sitting in the shower, lol, I get bored and do that, and watching one of the animes. Lol, I do that a lot as well. Really? LOL? My friends always call me weird for it. It's relaxing, though. Lol, it is, especially a nice hot shower. Seriously, have you ever been in a hot tub? Love hot tubs. Should I post this? Nah, keep that between us. That would attract assholes that you don't need. Wait, what you mean, really? I don't know, but better safe than sorry, you know? But deaf, cute pick. Aw, oh, that's actually so sweet. You're trying to protect me. Thank you. I'll keep it between us. Cyrax just said deaf cute pic in a winky face, and now you're going to see him talk to the decoy, wondering if she sees him as more than a friend. Just wondering, honestly, how do you feel about me? Just wondering. Like, do you like me as a friend or more than that? Just wondering. Well, I've been trying to get to know you more to tell, but I definitely have butterflies when you talk to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get you, and hey, I'm glad I help you out. But I mean, you know why I asked why you're single, right? Obviously, hint, hint. Lol, yeah. What about you? Actually, you don't have to answer. Same. I'm nervous of your answer, lol. Honestly. Really? That's such a relief? Because honestly, I can tell you actually are a kind person, for sure. I am. I really am. I like you a lot, to be honest. Aw, uh, thanks. Just wondering, how do you find me anyways? Just wondering. Through Tibbs' chat, remember? I was like, OMG, no way that's really him. Because I used to watch you a while back last year or so ago. Ah, uh, okay. One sec, getting out of the shower. Okay. Feel better now that you've had a shower? Yes, always LOL. Lol, so what you doing? Snuggling up in my bed now watching a little more anime. What about you? Lol, nice. What anime are you watching? It's the Outlaw Star one you suggested me. I like the cover on Google, so I just started with that one. Ah ha ha. After some messages about anime and what Cyrax would do if he got his old PC working, Cyrax would try to do a voice call. Just wondering how would you like me to charge my phone a bit and we could video call here in a bit. Sure, if I'm not asleep. Well, Cyrax would try to do that video call with a decoy, but was told that the decoy's parents were still awake. Hey, sorry, my parents are up now. It's all good. What you doing? Eating some breakfast, about to go to the mall later, I think. What about you? You should send me selfie. Cyrax would end up sending this selfie to the decoy. The decoy would then ask for something else. Maybe a little more than a selfie. He, he. Lol, maybe once you're 18 and an adult. And I say that because I don't want you or me to get in trouble for something stupid, you know? I don't your life or mine to be ruined by a simple mistake. Ah, uh, okay, no worries, I understand. I told you before old enough to know better, young enough to still do it. But okay, scaredy pants. Lol, not scared, just don't want you or me to get in trouble, you know? No, I get it. What if I make it irresistible? Winky face. How would you do that? Hmm, I don't know. Do you want a surprise or can you give me ideas? Surprise me. Okay, is that good enough or do I need to tease more? How much more would you tease me with, lol, just wondering? I took a picture just for you, but I don't want to be the only one. I'll just say that winky face. I dressed up for you. 
Don't worry, I got you. I'm waiting. What did you mean by you'd tease me more? I took a picture just for you, wink face I dressed up. You'll see, I took it last night, but I didn't know if you were single. That's okay. Now you do know. Exactly, LOL. Now you don't have to follow her rules. I'm still waiting, by the way. Thyrax would then send this photo to the decoy of him lifting up his shirt. More. You first. Hmm, you send first, then me. I'm the girl. I'm supposed to be the prize. What pick are you really wanting of me, winky face? I like this, LOL. Send them until you get it right. You want my cock, aren't you? Just wondering, pick-wise. Duh. Remember how at the beginning of this, we showed those clips of Cyrax being caught by Kate from Mastral Mafia back in 2021? Well, Cyrax did it again and sent his goblin peen to what he thought was a 15-year-old. Wow, I wasn't expecting all that. What was your secret surprise? I'm about to send. Can I request one more, please? I want a full body. I'll see what I can do. Cyrax would then send multiple voice messages to the decoy. You want to know the real reason why I said what I said earlier about waiting? It's because that's what they accused me of as being a pedophile. This chick named Mastral Mafia basically did what you did, but she was an adult. And unfortunately, as a result, I got labeled as that. And honestly, like, that's what I'm afraid of with you. Like, you're a good person. You really are. You're like, don't get me wrong. But I just don't want to end up getting in trouble, you know what I mean? Like, you're a good person and all. I just... I just want you to be careful. Because I've been doing really good with getting myself back to where I want to be. You know? And... Like, I don't want to end up getting labeled as that again, you know? Because I went through pure hell for over 10 years. And then two and a half years because of the mass troll mafia thing. And that's why I told you you should seriously wait because, like, you're a good person. You really are. Like, you've done nothing but show love and support to me. And I just don't want to end up getting in that kind of a situation again, you know? Like, don't get me wrong, I get it. 16 is the legal age of consent. I get it. Like, I truly do. I understand that. But at the same time, trust me when I say these people that I've dealt with, they are evil. And I do mean very, very evil people. And I don't want to see you go through that again. And I don't want to get put through that again. You know? Like, I don't hate you. I think you're an awesome, wonderful person. But I just don't want to go through that again. You know? So I really do hope you understand why we need to kind of chill out on this and wait until you're of age because I don't want to see my family go through that again I don't like I just got my life back and I don't want to run that risk but I do appreciate you showing nothing but love and support to me I do I genuinely appreciate that you know because let me put it to you this way because of these people, a couple of years ago I almost took my own life. Because of Mass Troll Mafia and all these people that did what they did. Because of them, I almost ended my life twice in a row. There's a video that I want you to watch that kind of explains a very similar situation called The Inquisitor. If you look it up and watch the documentary on him, You'll see kind of where I'm coming from and what that shit can lead to. Well, I am 15, but I turned 16 at the end of January, like I said. But trust me, you have nothing to worry about with me. You know, I do hope you understand where I'm coming from. I do hope that you do understand that. Because that shit, it almost ruined my life entirely. 
and I don't want it to ruin yours. Because you're a good person. You got your whole life ahead of you. And I don't want to see you end up ruining your life, you know? Because just like you care about me, I care about you as well. And I don't want to see you fuck up your life because of a simple mistake that you made as a teenager, you know? I understand what you're saying, though. One sec, I'll listen. I'm so sorry for what others have done to you in the past. I don't really know what I can do to earn more of your trust, but I can wait. It's fine. I really understand. Look, I don't look at you as a mistake. Stop saying that. I don't care about age and stupid stuff that you're bringing up. I like you for you. I know, and I do appreciate that. And I don't see me or you as a mistake, you know? I really don't. It's just, after everything I've been through, you know, I've been through just so much hell that I'm really trying to be myself again, you know? Like, I do appreciate the fact that you care. I do. Like, I genuinely appreciate that more than you know. It's just everything that they did to me, kind of, ever since then, I've been on edge in a sense. And it sucks. Like, I hate being on edge. Which is why I'm trying to be able to be myself again, you know? Like, it sucks so bad. Like, the constant having to look over my shoulder. Always being hyper vigilant about every car that goes by my house. Um, people that I talk to, I'm often sketchy about. Not that you're sketchy, because you're cool as fuck. Like, and I appreciate the fact that you actually care about me. I do genuinely appreciate that. I do. But it's like, you know, I've been through so much fucking... Like, I've been through so much fucking hell that, like, I'm always constantly worrying about everything. And I don't want to worry, you know? Like, these people really did a number on me mentally, which is why I use my music and I use YouTube as, you know, as an outlet, in a sense, to kind of showcase what I've been through, what I've dealt with, what I've gone through, you know? That way people can see what it is that I've gone through and what it's like to deal with you know, depression and PTSD, like, it sucks. And honestly, I just hope and pray to God that you never have to go through what I went through. I really do hope and pray to God that you never have to go through that. And I just hope and pray to God that, you know, sometime down the road, you know, I hope that, you know, you don't let these guys that are going to be coming at you, I hope that you don't let them take advantage of you. Because you're a good kid. You really are. Like, you're a good kid. you got a bright, bright future ahead of you, you know? And I don't want to see you throw all that away because of, you know, because of guys taking advantage of you. You know? Like I said, you're a good kid, and I appreciate the fact that I help you on so many levels. I'm glad that I can be able to do that for you, and I want to be able to continue to do that for you, you know? Like, I would gladly, you know, help you out in any way that I can, you know? Because just like you care about me, I care about you just like I care about everyone else, you know? And I'm glad that I can be, you know, that person that helps you through all your shit. You know, I'm glad that I can be that person that, you know, that you look to for inspiration and for help. Like, I'm glad that I can be that for you. That is so sweet, honestly. I understand where you're coming from. I'd be the same way, to be honest. Thank you for trying to look out for me. It means a lot that you care. It really does. Thank you. Hey, no problem. I'm just trying to look out for you the same way that you and Tibbs and all my friends and family look out for me, you know? 
Like, I don't want you guys or you, you know, making the same mistakes that I made and get yourself into a very, very fucked up and very bad situation, you know? Well, can I ask you something? Sure, what's up? And I have one for you as well, winky face. Wait, you have what for me? You spiked my curiosity. A question, but you go first. So, I mean, I don't want to make things awkward, but we just got all spicy and then you curve me a little. Why stop now? LOL. I mean, I've seen you and you've seen me. You know I don't care and you can trust me now. I'm just wondering. You're wet, aren't you? Winky face. How'd you know? Show me. I don't know if you're ready, LOL. I'm very ready. I don't think I have any already taken. I'll have to take a new one, LOL. I can try to sneak away to take one, maybe. Sounds good to me. You should come see me one day. My parents leave town once a month. Or maybe summer break. It's not too, too far away. What you doing? LOL. You don't have to answer that one. Ha 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 ha. And at the mall right now. I want to see the full body low key you tease. You don't have to show your face, of course, silly. LOL. Cyrax would then send this picture where, in the full pic, he is lifting up his shirt, pantsless, showing off his wiener. After doing that, Cyrax would keep it up by sending a sexually charged reel to the decoy. To be seen. It glows white on my pussy tonight, not a condom to be seen. A kingdom of penetration, and it looks like I'm the queen. Cyrax actually then sent more voice messages to the decoy, telling her to knock off the sexual conversations, saying that he doesn't want to go to jail. This is all after he sent those photos of himself and told the decoy that she tells people she'll get in trouble. Listen, Ashley, I don't hate you, I'm not mad at you, but I'm gonna have to ask you to stop, please, doing that sexual shit to me. Like, you've already tricked me enough already, which could get me in serious trouble. And I don't want any more trouble. Like, like I told you in the other messages before, I don't want to run that risk. Like I said, I appreciate that you like what I do. I appreciate that I do. I appreciate that you like my content and what I do. But I cannot run that risk of this shit happening again. Because if I get caught, I could go to jail. And I don't want to end up in jail. I want to be able to live my life. Like, I really do. I want to be able to live my life as a free person. You know, I want to be able to create content for you and for other people. And if I go to jail, how am I going to create content? You know? Like, so please, like... I'm very appreciative of you. I am. I am very appreciative that you enjoy what I do and that you enjoy being around me and my content. I do. I enjoy that. I'm, I'm happy about that. But I need to avoid trouble and you need to avoid trouble because if you get caught, you can get in serious fucking trouble by either your family or other people as well. And I don't want to see that for you. So I'm asking you, please, chill with that stuff, okay? Like, I'm not mad. I'm not upset and I'm not angry. I'm trying to look out for you. Because when I was your age, I used to be that same way. And it almost got me in a lot of trouble when I was your age. So I'm begging you, for the love of God, do not go down that road, okay? I'm willing to forget what happened, and I'm willing to sweep it up underneath the rug. Okay? I'm willing to look past all this, but this cannot happen again, okay? Because like I told you, you're a good kid, and you have a very bright future ahead of you. And I don't want to see you mess it up by fooling around and doing dumb shit like this, you know? Like, you're a good kid. You really are. And I don't want to see you ruin your future because you want to sit there and do stuff like this, you know? Like, you're a smart kid. 
you're hella smart, and you're one of the nicest people I've ever met. But this whole thing with you doing what you're doing, this cannot happen anymore. Like I said, I'm willing to look past this. I'm willing to forget that it ever happened. To save you and me both from being attacked. And so I do hope you understand why we have to stop. Because I already explained to you what happened once already. And I'm terrified that that'll happen again. I don't want any trouble. So please, Ashley, for me, please put an end to this. Enough of the sexual shit, okay? Please. Like I said, I'll still talk to you. I will. I'll still talk to you. I'll still hang out with you because you're a good person to be around. You're a lot of fun to be around. But this whole sexual shit, it needs to stop. Please. I'll leave you alone then, I guess. Like I said, I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm not because you're a good person. It's just I have to be careful, you know? Like, I do appreciate that you love my content, though. I do appreciate that you like hanging out with me. But I don't want to see you get in trouble, and I don't want to be in trouble myself, you know? And I do thank you for understanding. I really do. I do understand, babe. Don't worry, it's fine. I'm not worried about anything, but I understand if you are. I'll leave you alone for now. Well, if you ever want to talk again, don't forget about me. I'll see you around in your streams. So, what do you think Cyrax did after that? Did he stop messaging the decoy? Of course not. Cyrax has been doing this for years now, and will keep doing it so long as he has access to the internet. I know that there's going to be a wide demographic of people watching this. Maybe you've been watching Cyrax since the start. Maybe you just saw the Turkey Tom documentary. Or maybe you've never heard of him until now. Well, Cyrax has justified himself doing this before, saying that he was illegally entrapped. Let's hear that story again for good measure so there's no confusion about what he does. I didn't know how the two would meld, the troubled teenagers and the dick pics, if they would at all. So I pretended to be a 14-year-old girl who was being bullied. And I reached out to him for help and support and advice. And he sent me a dick pic, asked for nudes, and then told me not to ever tell my parents. Oh, oh okay. my God. So he... Cyrax has also admitted that he's into girls this age, saying that he's a hebophile. Look up the technical term, bitch. I would be considered a hebophile, which, by all technical terms, is not a fucking lie. By all technical terms, I would be a hebophile, which is not a crime. It's not illegal. Yes, that is a crime, and yes, that is also still illegal. As I said before, I know that a lot of you likely have no idea who Cyrax is, or for a lot of you, if you do, it's brief. Thankfully, there are many channels that you can learn more about him from. I'm sure that by this point, most of my own audience has recognized my voice by now. I'm Audentum, and I do a series called the Cyrax Recap, where I've been keeping up with everything Cyrax has done from February 2023 onward, but prior to that, you would have to go to someone else. Which is why I would also recommend these channels and series. Ernie Berkowitz and his Chance and Akron Fairy Tale series that is the closest that we have to a current comprehensive history, as well as both Root Dr. Thorne's Cyrax Timeline and Southern Harlot's The Inexcusable Words and Actions of Horror Cow Chance Wilkins. Cyrax knows that what he's doing is wrong, and even the consequences of jail aren't enough to stop him. Well, there was this person that was texting me i thought that it was a that it was a troll so i went along with it okay i went along with this thinking that it was just that a fucking troll i was fucking with their head and it turns out that that person that was acting like a kid was actually that a fucking kid and it sickens me And now because of these motherfucking trolls, 
Now because of these motherfucking trolls, I'm on the verge of going to jail over some shit that was a total misunderstanding. 